good stuff. Got him. Got him. Got him. Oh, that's it. Good hit. Got him. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, good shot. Yep, that's it. She's gone. Oh, Got him. Good hit. Oh, good hit. That's it. He's on the move. Okay, so right now we are at Airgun One. It's a shop over here in Palm Beach, Florida. There goes their contact info. And I wanted to stop by because I've seen some really cool things online about the store. And they have all these air rifles in stock. Look at them all. They got 22s, 25s. They even have this 50 cal right here. Wow. Look what this thing is shooting right here. Apparently this thing can take down a grizzly bear. So it might be a little bit too much for an iguana. But real quick guys, we're just in here. Uh, we just picked up this scuba tank right here so we can fill our PCP air rifle. We don't got to worry about the pump. But I'm going to show you guys a quick little walkthrough. Some of the guns. They got some accessories, pumps. Automatics too. Automatics too. They got everything, everything right here. And the really cool thing about this is it's local right here in South Florida of Palm Beach. And you get to come here and see all the guns in person. You can hold them. And you can see if it's really a fit for you if you want to get a gun. But look, Ruger Max Impact. Wow. They got gamos. They even got some air pistols. Look at this thing. That's crazy. But this is the side that we're going to really be focusing on right now. These are the big boy PCPs right here. They got gauntlets. Now, I'm just going to just show you guys real quick and comment down below which gun you think i should think about getting next okay so real quick i'm just gonna just scan buy a couple of them we got hatsons i think that's a 25 cal gauntlet right there bunch of stuff got that that they got all this ammo too so if you guys are going through an ammo shortage they got everything you need right here to get exactly what you need for what you're doing and look at this thing right here this thing is cool i think this is a this is a 30 caliber right here wow of course it has some bully it's it's a what it's a hats and bully the hats and bully right here 30 cal so we got that uh, like I said, comment down below what you guys want to see me get next. And also, if you guys want to come visit this shop and buy some air guns and some accessories yourself, there goes some contact information right there. You don't got to wait two weeks in the mail for your gun to come or your ammo. Come in the store, see what you want, pick it out, and go home and do what you got to do and get her done. Well, guys, we got the tank. We're going to go fill up our gun. We're gonna go put some iguanas in the bag. Real quick, what we're gonna do is fill our air rifle, okay? We have the scuba tank, we have this quick disconnect, and we're just gonna just put it on there, make sure it's, it's on, make sure this bleeder, and then you wanna slowly open this, very slowly. All right, hit 3,000 PSI, yep. Already? Yeah. Oh, well, we don't want to overfill the gun. We don't want it to go in that red right there. See that red? It's red for a reason. 
we don't want to go on that but right now it's pushing about 20 it's about 2700 psi which is pretty good because like i said we don't want to be too low we don't want to be too high very important though watch this you see the scuba tank look at this knob right here that's the bleeder valve you have to bleed it if not if you try to take this off it's going to whip you in the face teach you a fat lesson so one two three let's bleed the valve the, the valve is bled take this off boom all right boys and girls we are ready to shoot our pcp air rifle i showed you guys real quick how to refill the air look at that right there we're pushing we're pushing about 2600 psi which is fine guys it's going to give us about i would say at least 30 40 shots due to the nature of this video viewer discretion is advised we are going to be taking out iguanas with air rifles okay so this is a hunting slash pest control removal video so if you guys understand continue watching the video if you don't want to see any hunting or shooting of any iguanas please go on another video okay we have plenty of other videos of live capture Okay guys, you guys seen that right there? There was a great iguana just kind of posted. He was taking a nap. We almost scared him, but we ended up getting him in the bag. Oh, good hit. Got him in the bag. Okay guys, you guys seen that? Check this out. One hit KO. Guys, we're trying to go for the brain of these animals, but they're so strong. You gotta get them one time, right there. Destroy the brain, all right? Be humane about it. Another one in the bag. I see it right there we got another one let's see the, the placement of the shots wow. yeah buddy super humane one hit kill there's a lot of iguanas out here guys you see him yes yeah, sir this thing's got perfect camouflage it really does so bright and green. Oh, good shot. This thing's got perfect camouflage. Uh, so bright and green. Oh, good shot. I'm upside down, so I don't use them. It hasn't working. It's like the only way you can tell. Yeah, right? <laughs> if not, you're gonna get lost in the sauce. You lose your fish. The one in the water? Going for it? Try. Huh? Try. Oh, that's it. Good hit. Dead. Oh, that's it. Good hit. Got him. He's dead. Honest, honest got water shoes. Here, you could use this to, to grab him too. Yeah. Gotta go recover the bounty. Water is really cold as well. Is it cold? Yes, sir. That was a good shot. Good shot. Oh, yeah, that's a nice one, too. Good shot. Domed them. Wow. Beautiful. Sweet. So they are out, just not as many of them. But they most definitely are out. Nice recovery, bro. And nice shot, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got him. Oh, yeah. He's dead. 
what I'm realizing with this gun is like once you keep the gun pressure regulated to uh, the 3000 PSI, it shoots really strong, really accurate. I see his head. Oh, that's it. Got him. Dang. That thing rattled him, bro. That thing rattled him. Oh, another one. Is the big one still there or not? No, I don't think so. Wait. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't think so. It looked like he ran in the bush. Ah, good shot. That's it. One and done. This is, he's, he's toast here. Ah, good shot. That's it. One and done, humane. That's to, his friend is right there though. You've seen that happen though. Like, if he was really smart, he would use this as a foreshadow to get out of here, but. He's on the move. Oh my gosh. Right over his head. We need to get level with him. All right, there's no escape now. She's gone. Okay, well, unfortunately that big one, he got away but we was able to take out the female. She's right over here. We're gonna see if we can grab her real quick. Oh, yeah. Just like that. Good stuff. That's it, guys. Nice one hit kill. Put her out. Bigger the caliber, technically more knockdown power, as you guys can see. One hit KO in the bag. Big one got away. He was just a little bit out of range, but. Oh, good shot. Another guy. We just got a phone call that there are some giant iguanas behind these houses. We have removed over 200 iguanas off this property within the last two months, okay? We're trying to up the ante because we know that there's a breeding season among us. So if we can catch them before they breed, while they breed, or after they breed, that's gonna be the best way how to not let them reproduce and create more iguanas. Get the situation under control. Let's go in the back and see what we're working with. That's it. That's it. Damn. He'll come back alive. That's it. I don't see him. Oh, there he is. These things are strong, guys. Look, come here. Oh, good hit. Got him. Got him. That's it. 
Is it because the flood? The flood damaged it? Lifted it, it yeah. Oh. Yep, I think she's toast. Yeah, go ahead. All right, thanks a lot, man. Yeah. Well, this is where I get malaria or something. No. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, damn Warner. Put him down. Oh. Oh, a good shot. I was right on the head. It's a good little Charmander, too. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Yes, sir. Woo. All right, let's go. So far, we're, like I said, we're doing an extermination over here. So we gotta basically get them all, all right? Small ones eventually turn into big ones. So why even give them the chance to eat the vegetation, poop everywhere, dig holes, when we can get them while they're young, put them in the back, and prevent them from growing, guys. These things are everywhere. And I don't know if you guys seen on the other video, but there is another breeding season coming. So. Oh, good hit. There we oh, go. good hit. Look, if you don't believe me, let me recover them and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Right. Oh, wow. Look at that right there. <laughs> Bright green, but he's got the orange spikes. Guys, why are only his spikes orange? Drop some comments and let me know. All right, we're ready, y'all. We're gonna try to aim a lot lower on the reticle. Right, I'm gonna aim lower. Good hit. Good hit. All right. That's it. So I guess when we're in an incline, guys, we're above the, the iguana. We gotta aim lower. We can't aim directly at it. So he needs to be on the on the upper part of the reticle. So we need to aim just a little bit lower. And I, and I think that makes the most sense. All right, guys, I don't know too much about shooting in these angles, but if you have any tips or opinions, definitely drop a comment, let me know. But I think that theory is working. It just worked right there. Let's go get our catch. Good hit. Good hit. Good hit. It's not going nowhere, buddy. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh. Oh. Oh, good hit. Oh, good hit. That's it. This thing is really nice to use. It's quiet. It's accurate. It's really powerful, guys. 
and I just love it. The only downside, it's a little bit heavy, but you know what? We're gonna get really strong, guys. Got some intel from some customers over here. They said when it's really sunny, that's when more iguanas come out. So, today's been the sunniest day it's been in the last two weeks, so we're really happy, really blessed to come out here, harvest all these iguanas, and not to worry, guys, all these iguanas are gonna be used for food. People are gonna eat these. Remember, iguanas are delicacies all over the world. So, food, 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 food. Guys, it's the Iguana Man signing out. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Like, comment, and of course, subscribe if you're new.